Are you ready for a big tailgate weekend with the UFL UK season opener? Janine Washley is here to make your tailgate a huge hit. She's going to make you the MVT, the most valuable tailgater. Janine is making fajitas this morning and showing us several other things that are good for a variety of reasons on the tailgate. But I guess let's start with your fajitas. What are you working on here? Okay. We've got a uh, orange marinated uh, skirt steak. We've got lime marinated chicken fajitas. And then we've got the um, classic accompaniment, which is peppers and onions to, um, to a classic fajita. Now, if you're allowed to have a grill, this is super easy to take with you and you're not cooking big pieces of meat. I guess it's a lot easier to get it done more Absolutely. quickly. Absolutely. Um, if, if the venue allows a grill, then you can definitely marinate ahead of time, bring it in your zip top bag and simply transfer the meat to the grill. It mm -hmm. takes seven minutes. That's how fast Easy. a fajita takes. Okay. And so you can literally, as your friends come and go, family comes and goes, you can grill the meat, seven minutes of conversation, a little smack talk, whatever you right. want, you know, slice it up, serve them up, and on you go. And how do you make a proper fajita? Well, a proper fajita actually starts with, um, well, you want to toast your, you want to toast your, uh, your tortilla, tortilla. Okay. and we're not going to do that just for the sake of time. You top it with your meat, then you top it with your classic uh, peppers and onions, like this. And then this is something that is very interesting. A lot of a lot of people just uh, top it with taco topping, toppings, you know, mm -hmm. tomatoes, lettuce, that sort of right. thing. That's incorrect. This is escabeche. Escabeche is a classic. Uh, topping and it's um, especially uh, delicious on your fajita and this is carrots, jalapeno and garlic and from hmm. there you can add other vegetables and basically okay. it's Mexican pickled vegetables. You want to add this and then you want to add this delicious uh, accompaniment called crema and it's Mexican crema. It's a little thicker than half and half and it's a little sweeter than sour cream okay. and that tames the heat of the hot peppers that are in uh, the okay. and then you just fold it, serve it and eat You're it. You're ready to go. Yes. Now we've got some other things here. Uh, a couple of, uh, this is a bean dish yes. that you say is beneficial because these beans have protein. So you, when you eat this, you're not going to go to the ball game and be hungry for nachos in Exactly. All of the dishes have um, high protein uh, sources. This has beans. This has corn. And hominy. Um, they still carry through with the Mex Tex-Mex theme. The uh, green in here, the, what looks like a green bean, is actually cactus paddles. It's nopalitos. Ah. And that's cactus. And so it's basically a classic three-bean salad, but we added some cactus paddles okay. to it. This is hominy with a mango vinaigrette. And the, I should point out, neither of these dishes has mayonnaise, so you no. don't have to worry about it sitting out for a while and making somebody sick. Exactly. Of a good These tailgate. are cornbread poppers. Basically, I make cornbread. You've heard of cake, cake balls, uh -huh. cake pops. Um, I took it and made it a savory uh, version of that with okay. cornbread. Stuff those, put bacon on top of them, put them on the grill. This is a raspberry lime vinaigrette. The raspberry opens up the taste buds in the back of your throat, makes the uh, jalapeno seem even hotter. So oh, it's a nice, well, little, no, thanks nice little trick. I like this. This is uh, in the colors of your favorite team. So in this case, it would be U of L. But these are just little treats for the friends you make while tailgating. Exactly. People who might stop by, you can give them something to take along with Absolutely. Them. I like that. And then we've got dessert, and it's just uh, comfort food all the way. It's a Mexican hot chocolate pudding and, it, and Mexican chocolate is uh, a very well-known treat. It has vanilla and cinnamon in it mm -hmm. and I've kind of bumped it up a little bit with a pinch of chipotle. So we've got cookie dippers that you can dip into your chocolate pudding mm -hmm. and then our lime treat is lime fire water and that is homemade limeade with uh, jalapeno juice in it. So you can make it sparkling with a little bit of ginger ale. Okay. Um, I've heard that it's really good with a shot of Corona or a shot of tequila. I wouldn't know about that. You can dip your glass in sugar or in salt and serve mm. it like a margarita. Okay. Or you can have a mocktail and just serve it straight up on ice. All right. You put together a booklet, I bet. I sure did. Janine always puts <laughs> together a booklet of all her recipes. So if you want to go and just knock them dead the first weekend with your tailgate and you've got this whole Mexican theme going on, you want to be authentic, Check out what Janine has put together. What you do is you go to our website, WDRB.com. We have her information, her email address. You send her an email, she sends you a booklet full of recipes. It's that simple. And of course, she is at Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen, which is a private farm. Uh, that's her private residence. But she does occasionally open the farm for cooking classes and other events. And those things will be listed on her website. And you can get there from our website. Janine, thank you so You're much. Welcome. This looks spectacular. Absolutely.